people and you know like how it freaking goes in your life if you are meeting all the wrong types of people you know you are doing something really pretty wrong maybe you should freaking reconsider your choices all along you know maybe you should change your city maybe you should move to milano maybe to freaking new york or even freaking tokyo but you know if you take your problems and your bad habits to another freaking continent it won't be changing a thing and that's for freaking sure you know might be even making like the things a little bit worse even still you know now we're gonna try to keep practicing the style and i will freeze showing you like how it's freaking done so the point of this whole thing is that I'm gonna record all of my voice uh, acting and singing practice and I'm gonna be developing my voice I'm gonna do these hours you know this is the first hour and I'm gonna go on the fly I'm not really I'm, I'm, I might be trying to write some stuff at the moment also but I'm kind of like uh, only honing my rhythms and the rhymes and the freestyles you know I don't have any pre-planned ideas and now we might try this one rhythm and this one song that I was doing doing yesterday yesterday actually I'm making this this street art type of thing where I'm going around and <laughs> I'm singing these like songs while like doing certain kinds of walks you know like in the fashion industry where we have these models and these models are walking on the catwalk they are so conscious of their style of moving around and you know these clothes they will make you that way like all the freaking along while you were just playing your video games I was just going in the snow in the winter time you know that's why my voice is so strong there was nobody to freaking talk to but you know I still used my voice I was singing without a choice and that's for sure you know just follow this tempo <laughs> yeah something like that you know like uh, like I'm trying to make this like street art type of thing with that like combines like you know like walking singing you know like singing uphill you know have you ever seen while going uphill you know it's so freaking hard you have to have so much slang power but when you have a start and when you come back inside that you have been singing all night while walking uphill you know you will have so much strength in your voice because you know you need so so much lung power do that thing you know it's really hard and then you know i've been noticing that if you like if you like do this kind of like if you like do this kind of like heavy metal styles you know like if you do the heavy metal style while you're walking around it requires so much lung power and then we have the guitarist and he's just like lounging around at his home all the time he's getting pretty fat and his riffs are all bad but then there came around this singer man and he completely transformed the style of this freaking American guy. Yeah.
So I've been noticing that if you do this metal stuff, you know, with like certain amount of like, you know, you're not like taking them too overboard or doing them for too long. Uh, your voice becomes more strong in the like lower end and it gains this like kind of like rattle you know I've been trying to like get this like rasp you know in the voice and I feel that in some situations I even have it you know while I'm talking you know I feel like uh, there's more more like mm, lower frequencies and the rasp in the voice because I use the voice so much it's kind of like it, it's kind of like uh, how, can, how can I say it you know like when you if you have been walk like working out a long time you know and if you have been working out a long time and you like get into this uh, these like zones where you are like hitting off every every practice you are doing and you are like flying you know uh, it's kind of like that, you know, uh, your voice like changes, it gains strength and at some point when it has gained strength, you know, it also becomes, it also, it also starts to like, you, you start to gain this momentum basically, as the same thing as when you are like exercising or, well, where if you are into sports, you know, I'm mainly talking about here about cycling. And you know the the like the art piece I'm now doing, like the performance uh, type of art piece now I'm now doing like in the streets, is is it has the same idea as I used to I used to have in cycling because in cycling I used to like uh, listen to these songs you know on the background while I was I was like mm, cycling, and I I did these like rhythms you know uh, with my body. As at the same time, you know, and, and now I've been I've been developing those rhythms like from my own head, you know, like I had I don't have any like like I don't know where this come from, but you know, it's really interesting, you know, when you find your rhythms and your style all along, I have to keep doing these things every day. I wonder if you could be building a new type of habit like singing an hour like it's freaking day. Can you do that for me? Can you go a little higher, maybe even higher now? Now I, you know, it's really hard to do those higher frequencies. You know, it's really hard to do those higher frequencies with some strength in the voice. I don't if you, you know, it's really hard to do those higher frequencies with some strength in your voice. Have you ever had a choice on this matter at all? I wonder if a white fedora hat would help in this. You know, I was looking at uh, these fedora hats, you know, again, and there like had came these new models, you know. And there was this white one, you know, where the, like a stripe, uh, like that, like went around the, like, you know, like in the Fedora, there's this stripe always. And it, it, it was like white, gray and black, uh, the whole like hat, you know, the colors. And it was so freaking style. And it was 500 euros, you know, like 500 euros for a hat. But it will make you into a such a che che gentleman. Now we might be like like pulling out a pulling out a song over here with with some uh, like 360 type of recording on this microphone. Uh, you know, it's really it's really interesting in this microphone. In this microphone, you can you can kind of like record in. Three, 360 degrees around the microphone so you can you can you can even like you can even like walk around the microphone and and it's kind of like actually actually pretty inter interesting to write songs while you are like walking around your microphone you know you will be 
You will be finding your, you will be finding your rhythms and your rhymes so much more easily. You know if you be walking around these freaking blocks, you know I will be doing this all on my own. I might be even at some point like putting the freaking like camera on the tripe freaking pod, you know, and recording this stuff. You know, but this freedom is so freaking cool, you know. Now we might be trying a new type of freedom, you know. This one has more cowboy in it, you know. Riding over the deserts, and we are on a horse. Horse freaking back, and I'm running out of breath, and that's that's freaking bad. But there's a town, and we are riding into the town, and there's a sheriff, and the sheriff has heard about a train heist, and there was a gang of robbers that went went inside. They went inside the freaking train, and there was. A few few businessmen in the steam train, and the train was rolling at half the freaking tracks, you know things like that. And the train was rolling at the freaking train tracks, and you might be even at some point like stopping at stopping at the traffic lights. There was a mafia guy, and the mafia guy was all about the freaking fedora, and the fedora he was wearing. Had a black, white, and grey stripe. He pulled out his credit card and emptied the trunk. And the trunk had a Tommy gun in the violin case. You know he pulled out the revolver and pointed at the sheriff. And the sheriff thought that this is rad. And he pulled out a lever gun and the lever. The gun went bang, 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 and the bad guy dropped on the freaking ground. You know that's how it's freaking done. You know there's no freaking way. You know you won't be making big monies, big monies in the future if you continue this habit. You know this will be so cool. I'll make this in. To a bo- podcast, yeah. So now, if we like press this button over here, I'm using the Tula mic for this one. We press this button over here, it like starts to record again, like only like through the mm, only from the front of the microphone. So I'm thinking that I could make this habit into like this podcast also. And you know, podcasts are more like free-flowing usually. They have these conversations. Maybe I could even do this with another person at some time. Uh, but you know, these like podcasts of, of like uh, like uh, speech speech practice and singing podcast number one, number two, number three, something like that. Would that be interesting? Yeah, I think that would be really interesting. You know. Gaining some practice at the same time as like creating something like new. It would ma- probably make like like it's an idea if you like want to develop your voice. It makes it a little bit more interesting, like going over stuff and yeah, yeah, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. But you know, uh, uh, yeah, like so I've been I've been doing I've been doing this like street art thing and. I've been finding some rhythms, and I found this like one rhythm that uh, sounded kind of like uh, going downhill. You know, I don't know if I can like like recreate it for you in this moment because you know uh, it had this like marching tempo on the background that this this like song had this like marching tempo that I found, 
and the marching tempo on top of it we have this like pretty fast you know pretty fast type of like jazz song i wonder if there was like a drummer like a drummer or like a yeah, I think I if I want to take this like music stuff to the next level, the first thing I have to find is a drummer, you know, uh, a guy that a guy that can play the freaking drums. That's that's the first thing I have to find. But you know, I have no idea where I'm gonna find that kind of drummer, because you know, I feel that I feel that the style I, <laughs> I feel that the style I'm going, you know, my voice is cracking a bit. I feel that the style I'm going for like right, right now. It's kind of like more, it's, it's, it's pretty old school, it's pretty old school and it has that, it has that like tempo, you know, uh, of, of like, you know, the olden days and we might be, we might be trying, trying over here, we might be trying over here like, I might be trying. You know that one's not the right one Now we are going downhill And we have a taxi cab And in the back of our taxi cab We have our character and the You know that's, that's too, that's too, that's too fast I wonder if you now could just fold On the omnidirectional recording we have our taxi cab and in the back, in the back of the taxi cab we have our character. You know, it's too hard. I, I can't do that rhythm, you know. I, I can't find the rhythm, you know, over here. I have this like, I have this like special shoes from Paul Smith, you know. They're called Springfields, uh, the model. And I, man, they, man, I found out so many freaking rhythms through them, like, like through walking and, and singing, you know. So I feel that if, if I want to like do this kind of thing, I would have to like have the drummer. I would have to have the drummer, uh, like, like, like walk with me for a minute we would record the like the rhythm i found out and then we we could like play it you know uh, the drummer could play it and i could follow the like it, i could follow and sing it through the drum beat you know but but if i can't find the rhythm it's it's hard yeah so now we might be like go going downhill again i will be just showing you a new type of singing style and this one is a pretty wild you know about it you know i don't i don't need alcohol i don't need cigarettes just quit all that crap and start see start you know being creative with your freaking life you know you will become so much better with your stuff you know i wonder if you could just now today just keep practicing your messages you know you have been getting addicted to this technology you know you have to let it all go let go of your smartphones and your cameras maybe even your laptops and your desktops yeah just quit using internet all along it doesn't make you any kind of freaking it doesn't make you powerful you know now that freaking sucked but you know i'm trying uh, that freaking sucked but you know i'm trying to like also like um, embed a message into my into my stuff that i do so we might be trying this trying this stuff th this type of stuff um that like relates to my writing but over here i'm not really trying to do writing if i get a really good line out of my out of my head you know then I will I will like write it down but but this stuff is really not about like writing songs I found out the new I found out the way to write songs that it that is actually pretty good you know um, you have to have a well it's probably best done for reels with for reels with the, like a laptop or 
or something where you can like backspace, like you can delete words. It's kind of hard to do on pen and paper or, or typewriter. But you need something to write with and you need a, like a recorder. This, this one is great for that. And you just like start writing lines and you reorder them and you go over it again and again. But the problem with that is that um, you can't, uh, it's, it's harder to find your, um, your uh, the character in the voice through that kind of, that kind of like, uh, that kind of stuff. So I feel that you should like uh, be developing like lots, uh, lots scale of repertoire in your style of like singing or speaking before you do any kind of like, you know, you could say content making. Yeah. So uh, we might we might be we might be writing writing over here this kind of this kind of stuff in our memory that that you should be like uh, having a message like a message with rhythm. Yeah. And at some point I might do this, you know, with the camera, camera also. But but at this at this moment it's not really, it's not really what I'm going for. So now let's try again some new type of track. I wonder if we can be just finding a freaking friend. No, let's just yeah now. Now let's 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 keep doing this stuff, you know. We're going downhill in the snow. You know, now try, try like the black ones, blacks and red. You know that, like I have been developing so much of this, like higher, like like lower character in my voice and I have completely neglected the higher character in the voice. And you know I've been like finding out that there's all kinds of ways that you can freaking be talking. And you know, like the style of the like the guy that is pretty high, you know. The style of the guy that is the, the style of the guy the style of the guy that is pretty high and like weed, maybe like, maybe some like, you know, I don't know. But you know, you know, it's really interesting stuff, but I found out that when I went to New York, there were all of these people that were so hospitable to a guy that went, came all the way from Finlandia and had like perfected the art of like English language, you know? Yeah, it was really different, you know, because in the Finland, yes, there were nobody, there were nobody that even freaking understood what I was saying. But even on top of that, they didn't understand what I was meaning, you know. So that's, that's really interesting, you know, how like you are trying to say something, but you are trying to mean something completely different. Yeah. That's language for you and the problems of it. Yeah. Like, I feel, I feel that, I feel that uh, when you're just like, like when you're just like uh, standing around and trying to like sing, um, you need, you need the, like the uh, rhythms of the instruments. But if you like do it while you're walking, you can like read them, read them the like the songs on the fly, and, and they will they will be more natural. I feel that I feel that the rhythms I have been like finding from my like body, you know, I feel that the rhythms are really natural, and they could be like probably pretty easily play, like played on the instrument instruments, and like I, I I'm not really sure if I have heard this kind of, probably but I'm not really sure if I have heard this kind of rhythms like done before you know uh, and the process would probably go like this that I I like kind of like I I try to I try to come up with some kind of rhythm for a song uh, and the lyrics 
and then I try it like while I'm walking and if it works you know then it can be like made into like a drum like beat you know but how that will be done is freaking you know it's hard so now I will be showing uh, uh, to you, you know, how about we just follow the tempo we are, we're going downhill, downhill I will show, I will be showing you how we're going downhill, 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 you know, I'm stuck in that, uh, I'm stuck in that song. Stuck, da, da, stucking, stuck in that song. Now you might find her. I was walking around. I was walking. You know, I, 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 one time I tried this like real light type of stuff. It went something like this. There was birdies in the trees. There were birdies in the in the trees, and I was walking around without any sleep, and I was feeling so bad. You know, it was the winter time, and snow was raining from the skies, and I just found out a new type of style, and it was so light. You know, the voice it was getting pretty light and strong, and all all the time the sky was filled with sunlight maybe even starlight and i find i find a rhyme from starlight and sunlight and sky and even a flight you know that kind of stuff that could be like written starlight sunlight even flight Starlight and even sunlight and the flight. The voice is gaining flight. You know, the voice was gaining flight, refining starlight and the moonlight. It has to rhyme. You know, it has to rhyme the moonlight and the star, the moonlight, the moon, moon, moonlight. That's the next line you divide it up in your head. And I will be, you know, I feel, I feel that writing songs, you know, you have to. You have to be really like considerate of your, of your word choices and it's pretty hard if you have to pull it all out of your freaking head. You know these freaking guys that are playing on the biggest, the biggest stages usually are not improvising but I feel that the jazz happens in the moment and you know in the the freestyle jazz of the singing there is actually no pre-planned ideas yeah you've been pulling out all kinds of stuff you know for so so many years and at some point you know you have such a large repertoire of freaking rhythms and the rhymes that you might be just improvising it out of your head and I wonder if there are like any freaking like drummers or saxophonists that are capable of that kind of stuff it could be so like interesting all you know like having no like freaking ideas but having such a large vocabulary of like having such a large vocabulary of ideas. Yeah, 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 I might be finding out just like right now that you won't be understanding what you want. Like that, that. 
It's like I might be just finding out that you won't be understanding if I slow it down. You know, I will be finding out that just right now if I slow it down, you won't be understanding what I'm going for. And this song has another type of rhythm, it's more severe. You know, there was a murder that happened and it was the most... I know I will be just now finding out that if I slow it really down now it be becomes a slow song that has a little bit of comedy in it and you know we are freaking flying oh, oh, uh, the skies we bought the tickets from the cheapest airlines and I feel that this plane is going to crash on the ground pretty soon and that's freaking wild I'll be in the freaking YouTubes doing this stuff and we're feeling so fine you know like how it went in the olden eras you know it was so rad when we find the rasp in our voice you know just take it really slow there's no need to hurry this is the 70s maybe the 60s or even 58 maybe 55 going back in time do the air of the pocket watch and the roulette tables that were filled with big cash bills you know i wonder if you could be practicing like fast freaking songs then speeding it all up by high fast i freaking feel like i'm losing track like track of freaking time you feel it in your bones you know that this song is all about like finding your voice that it doesn't have to be perfect but you freaking know just slow it really down and i will be showing to freaking you how it will be done on the YouTubes just develop the rhythms and your style before writing the lyrics for the song and now with my meat my meat my drummer on the stool his name is slow slow johnny and slow johnny is high on heroin maybe methamphetamine the guy is spreading pretty wild and he likes to play the slowest freaking jazz we have our main character and he is named the truth freaking detective I have came to change the freaking culture around me you know I feel that the modern day we the technologies like the smartphones and the freaking laptops it's so freaking fast i can't keep freaking up you know the modern age with technologies and the 4g's it's so freaking bad for your freaking brain just turn it all off or you will go insane yeah 
Yeah, 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 that's how it went, you know, like there was a man and the match boys was getting uh, so freaking strong, you know, have you ever heard that one before? Yeah, so that was pretty slow, you know, and I feel that that kind of that kind of stuff it's really fun you know but but i feel that uh, it uh, it might it might be you know it has the it has the same kind of style uh, and i feel that a lot of these like readers i've been finding they have the same like basic design principle also the same basic like style behind them so they could be in one recall recall uh, like in one record or they could even be in one like like song also but i feel that if you would place that kind of song uh in a like a stage performance for example it would have to be like in the like if we divide it in half it would ha have to be in the like the like you know like if you divide some div if you divide a whole in the four parts uh, you would place it in the third part you know like if you had four songs, uh, it would be the third one. So if I would ha be having this like like goal of like writing four songs, the first the first one would be probably pretty fast, and the second uh, like I feel I feel that maybe the maybe the first one would be the like downhill going one, maybe the second second one more like yeah just fast then the third one really slow and maybe the fourth one yeah you know like kind, kind of shit like that you know that it it yeah so now let's try walking walking again around this around this fucking microphone and put on the omnidirectional stuff so i was just feeling if you want to be right so i was just feeling that if you want to be writing songs or your cds or your freaking uh, so i just was feeling that if you want to be writing for uh, songs for for your freaking so I was just feeling that if you want to be writing songs for your performance you have to divide it all up into four parts you know this part might be might be really fast we might be having a chase out scene with the police or something like that there's some action in the back and we have our bad guys and they're wearing all black they have their fedora hats and their tummy tummy guns and they are the gangsters and they are driving around on the streets of the New Yorks they go into a bank and they are pulling out the bank heist and they are driving through the traffic and you know there's a police car and the police car tries to stop them on the tracks but they don't have a freaking like tire freaking tracks are running on the backs and there's a screech 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 and they are just driving even faster now and they are almost, almost freaking drifting and now we we jump to the continent of Japan there are the yaksas that are you know you know that rhythm it it kind of like it sounds like a scene where there are there's like a lot of traffic and there's somebody going faster than everybody else taking a little bit of risk a lot of risk maybe but it's not very severe at this point you know it's not your like like if we tell a story over here like our goal in this practice is to tell the same story uh, and go through the whole scenario where we have some like guys uh, who are like you know some kind of gangsters you know and it's the it's the, like the 60s maybe and they are going into a bank and they're trying to pull out this like bank heist 
and I want to like match. I, I want to like like match the freaking like rhythm with the action that goes on. And I haven't like written this kind of like scene ever ever before. So I'm gonna try. Let's try it from the start. And there were and there and we're driving in. Uh, and the gangsters they were driving in a blue car. And our main character was just now at his home And he walked out and he saw the guy that he was supposed And we are just now starting out there So freaking guy and the guy is at his home and he is just now like walking freaking out and he's supposed to be meeting a guy from the mob and they are planning a bank heist on the biggest bank of the New Yorks and they step into a car the car starts speeding up speeding up a little bit and now we are be driving there comes around the corner around the corner another type of car and in the car we have oh another character and it's the mafia's mafia's boss and they're heading for the bank the tires they are rolling rolling faster now they go around the taxi car and they are reaching the sunset boulevard who freaking cares at all and you know that they pull out uh, in front of the bank and you know we go back a little bit now and they are driving through the traffic all along and I'm feeling just right now that this freaking rhythm is pretty close to what I was freaking telling about you know that this rhythm I am now just pulling out it has the freaking rhythm of the freaking marching song you know about that this rhythm it's so freaking rap you know just keep listening to this stuff all along you know this rhythm is all about the freaking freaking you know marching yeah I can't freaking keep up with the story and this freaking rhythm is all about the mods and we have our main 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 character and his name is Blackfeather and Blackfeather joined the army he used to be a pickpocket in the streets of the New Yorks and he's one of the guys in the bank freaking heist you know Blackfeather was hired by the mob because he had so much freaking style on him, you know Black Feather should be made into a president or something like that, you know Everything runs so freaking good, the words are falling into place And I don't have a freaking plan for my life at all But it will be payoffing at a freaking And you know this is freaking crazy freaking stuff you can be doing all along I will freaking develop been this style for so many years just try freaking now <sighs> yeah so I've been writing this like I'm thinking about the story you know because it all ties back into my writing uh, uh, like black feather I have this black fedora hat on my head that has this funny feather on it and I, I drew this hat, I invented this character called Black Feather. And Black Feather is this guy, is this guy that like um, uh, is a pickpocket in the streets of New York in the olden times. And Black Feather has this like way of like going about pickpocketing that he's a master in it. And he has this safe house that is called a color hall, a color ha color house or something like that. And he, he goes there to like gain this like um, this 
uh, kind of like you could call it extrasensory perception, but not really. It's it's really about like it's really about like gaining this. It's called acute awareness. He becomes more aware than other people around him, you know, and and he uses this ability that he gains from the like safe house to like pull out these like pickpocketing stunts, you know. And he has be, been like gaining a lot of like you know success through it. And then at some point, you know, Black Feather starts to feel that like uh, like this is pretty like I don't want to be just a pickpocket. And he meets some shady type, you know, in the streets. I haven't yet written this scene. I have written all the like pickpocketing stuff, but I haven't written this like Black Feather. I could write over here. Black Feather is involved in a bank heist or something like that. And Black Feather is involved in a bank heist. And then Black Feather, uh, like I, I'm thinking about that, Black Feather will at some point in the story will be joining the army, you know, uh, because he wants to leave behind the, like, he wants to flee the police through the army, basically. Uh, and and he like joins the army and is sent to like the, one of the wars that is going on. Maybe it could be the like, Korean War or or maybe Vietnam. Maybe this could be placed in the time era after like World War Two even. Um, but I feel that maybe maybe you know I, I'm not really sure about this yet. But he is sent yeah, into the war and it's it's a war story after that. Mm, maybe you could even make it into a sci-fi setting, you know, but you could make you could use the basic structure of the story. That's one of the stories I've been I've been writing, you know, it's more it's more realistic. It more it's more realistic. It happens in the real real world base. It has some like it has some like maybe supernatural elements to it, but you know. So that's the, that's the so story of Black Feather. No, so now we might be now we might be like like um, making the story of the black feather into a song so black feather was walking around in the streets of the new yorks and black feather is our main character and black feather is walking walking around in the streets of new york and he's like i've been thinking about this you know there are these drum machines you know and i used to be i used to like think that yeah uh, like I, I i i was thinking about getting a drum machine but then I felt that yeah, I I'm not even really like interested in doing rap. I'm not really interested in doing rap. Maybe I could, but you know, I just feel that I just feel that that's not maybe my style. And I was thinking about getting a drum machine, but you know, for this type of stuff, you know, you could you could be doing the rhythm, you could be doing the rhythm with a drum machine um, that was actually just like normal drums, they were, they were known of this, like, yeah, yeah, none of those, like, rap type, of, like, drum things, you know, so, I, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about that, but, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of like, like, what do you, what do you really do, like, yeah, doing it all, all on your own, yeah, maybe, but I feel that I feel that that's I feel that that's not really worth it, you know. And it's you know it's so it's so cool. Like if you think of things you think about, if you ever can perform this stuff, and like like the drummer is like the drummer is really really like yeah, it could be pretty cool if you like could do this all on your own, like like combining like high tech stuff, you know. Like you know all those like, all that kind of like DJ equ equipment you know and then combining it with your own voice, but you know I have no interest in to going like the like like the digital way of like like making songs you know it's not my it's, it's, 
I, I really don't care about that. So now we might be trying this story out and we have our main character and this character is named Black Feather and Black Feather is a pocket thief and Black Feather walks around in the streets of New York. He spots a man near a gun selling boot and he walks in a rogue style to the man. He picks his wallet out of his back pocket. Wallet and the back pocket. Yeah, something like that. And then he takes out a couple of bills, put the wallet back there and then the guy starts to pay. And the guy doesn't notice all the money missing. And what happens is that Black Feather is already hissing to the uh, largest uh, freaking uh, skyscraper. Skyscraper. And the backs, you know, I'm feeling so fine. You won't never need another freaking style. You know, Black Feather goes up, uh, up a skyscraper and he is meeting you. Hear that crap from the outside. Freaking well, you know, it's so freaking fun. You know, how long have been doing this? Stop just right now. I'm practicing this every day. I will be doing this for hundred years time. You know, black feather goes up a skyscraper. Black feather and skyscraper. That freaking rhymes, you know. Black. Feather and the skyscraper. Well, we find a, like a rhyme: black feather and sky, black, 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 black feather and the skyscraper. And the funny thing about words is that uh, if you find a word that like rhymes, you know, uh, it might work only in one uh, like rhythm. Like for example, that that type of word with black, 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 black feather and the sky, skyscraper, they go together so freaking, you know, if you want to make, if you want to make it better, then go with the leather, it rhymes with the better, and you will be get. So let's be getting together. I will write you a letter or something like that. It's so freaking rad. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's be getting to. Oh, oh, let's be getting together. I will write you a letter and now we're getting better at rhyming freaking letters that's so freaking cool you know Black Feather goes up, goes up the skyscraper and we are getting better this is more like rap you know but it's still a beat jazz you know Black feather is going up a skyscraper and we are getting better. It rhymes with the leather. Yeah. So, that kind of stuff. So that's the, that's the, that's the hour, you know. Yeah, there was some progress, you know. I'm gonna write that, that stuff down, you know. Black feather, and we're getting better. I'll be writing.
Yeah. Oh man. So that's the hour. There was a lot of like thinking behind it. A lot of creativity. A lot of creativity, you know. I might be it might be really cool if I could like get over get over here like a way to like write those songs and I could like be filming it and I could have this like I could have this like you could see the whole process behind what like happen happens while I develop actually this process and you know like like in this in this like uh, hour we started to think like how it how it could actually be done you know like like do I actually need a fucking drummer to like do this kind of stuff it's act, it, it might be kind of like it might be kind of like like not really practical or it might be practical who knows and uh, I, I know that I won't be playing the drums myself uh, like like no analog drums you know my hands are like busted in that sense so I, I probably can't like do that and it's so much practice that I won't be doing that there are so many people that can play the drums already and you know the style is pretty old school the style is pretty old school and there are like fast fast like songs also and and i feel that the, like some of the like some of the rhythms i've come up with are like are pretty complex in a sense that they have this like two like layer type of like feel that there's like a fast fast type of like rhythms uh, that uh, like the singing kind of like like carries over the fast parts and there's sort of like a background background like a slow like a type of like marching beat and I've been I've been pulling the pulling these things out and I'm just trying to like I'm just really trying to like find out how could this could be fucking done you know I'm 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 wonder I'm wondering about you know those like you know in the army you know they have those marching drums that it's only one drum you know basically but but I want I wonder if you could carry over carry the voice over one of those like drums uh, if it's too loud or will the voice be heard you know like over it yeah it could be also also really interesting also really interesting and yeah so that's that that's the hour we made some progress like huge amount of huge amount of progress can be made in one hour if you like like make make it make it like this so thanks for watching